is blue and orange and can fly? Any idea? What is blue and orange and can fly? I shall enlighten you. This pen, when you pick it up and throw it through the room... Um, yes. Now, what do we have today? I have for you today a Multani pen. This is the Multani Modelo 57, uh, which was lent to me by my friend Eddie from Italian Pens. In fact, he sent me two, one with the gold trim, one with the rhodium trim. I am going to cover the parts of this pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, but before I do that, I'll do a writing sample. Let's get started. Multini. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, um, I'm sorry I cannot show you the box. Eddie specifically asked me, do you have the box? I said yes, uh, because I had another Multini, and I couldn't find it. I'm so sorry, but if you look at my other uh, uh, Multini review, I think it was a Model 55, um, yeah, I show the box, same box, okay? So here we have the Molteni Modelo 57. Uh, the 57 right here next to a Lamy Safari, uh, about the same length, and I would say about the same girth, and maybe a little bit wider at the middle here. Okay, so these come in two finishes. There is a gold finish and a rhodium finish gold on top here, which goes all the way down to the nibs. Bear in mind, these are steel nibs, okay? Not solid gold. Let's have a look at this gold one. Uh, the pens are identical beyond those, those trims. Um, top of the cap, same material as the rest of the cap, has the nice little clip with the roller which I always like the little wheel. Here it says Molteni, and on the other side it says Made in Italy. We have this beautiful orange delta material, at least I think it is the delta material, it really looks like it, and I've always found that a stunning material. It's a very intense, bright orange, which is very nice. Uh, here's a blind engraving with the M from Molteni, the logo it says Molteni and Made in Italy. And here we have just a little end cap. These are not piston fillers or anything, it's just an end cap. Here we have a section in blue as well, and in this case we have the gold uh, colored nib, um, probably gold plated nib, but not solid gold. The nib says M, Multani, and in this case it's an F for fine. And um, <clears throat> the pen fills with a cartridge or a converter, and the converters are actually quite Fancy, as you can see, it has a nice little turning knob that says Molteni made in Italy. And now I know you want to see the rhodium one. And yes, that does have a rhodium end. That is good eye for detail. Okay, so two pens, one in fine, one in medium. I suppose that means I should quickly do a writing sample of both of them. So here we go. Let's start with this gold one, simply because I happen to be holding it. What's going on here? Why is this so messed up? This shouldn't be this difficult. There we go. Okay. Multi... Multenu? Molteni, I'm so sorry. Modelo 57, this is the gold, which has a fine nib. And the ink is a, a Waterman blue, but I, I think this one was dipped. I do actually clean them before I ink them up, so I don't know how this happened, but for some reason this is not what Waterman blue usually looks like. I am... Uh, Stumped, mystified, and stupefied, all in equal measures. The quick brown fox jumps. You see it gets a little dry and it, it leans towards skipping a bit when you write this quickly with it. And that is, that, that's what, what my experience was too. It's a slightly drier writer. 
uh, line variation as always very careful it's not advertised as flex or even semi flex so be very very careful that's pretty much it I kept this a little shorter because I want to show you both pens okay and then there is the reverse writing which actually writes it works well and it turns the fine into I would say a very good extra fine but now we want to see the medium and there things get kind of interesting in my mind just checking if I was uh, in focus Maltini Modelo 57 now we're talking medium and also what Waterman Blue same ink which actually looks like Waterman Blue now isn't this fascinating this is a medium nib has more feedback than the fine but is way wetter number six Bok nib um, very interesting uh, there is some more feedback uh, you, you definitely feel that but it's so wet I prefer this nib feedback and all uh, line variation definitely a little bit reverse writing yes you go from a medium to a fine and it is actually a very pleasant experience not super scratchy so I would say that we need to discuss a couple of things let's talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it okay what do I like what do I not like about the Multani Modelo 57 well there's a lot, a lot of things I like and there's some things I, I like a little less so first of all the pens are a pretty nice size I think this is a size that works well for many people they have a nice section tapers down flares out a little bit is a bit uh, barrel shaped I think that is that is quite nice and then they also post well so all of that I think is, is, is really quite nice I love the Delta or at least Delta style but I, I think it's, it's, it's a, a Delta type material that orange is is very very attractive in my mind I, it's a very nice vibrant popping orange which uh, which I like a lot um, when it comes to the Multani models and this one is a bit more affordable I've seen them in the 795 range and the 545 range uh, these ones for example uh, this is the um, I keep forgetting the number the model 54 these are 545 US these pens are 225 yes steel nib yes cartridge converter but 225 I know it's not super cheap but relatively speaking in this brand of pens that's kind of like an entry-level model again within the pricing of that brand right so I think that that is that is quite nice um, relatively affordable for a Multani pen you do get a pen handmade in Italy not injection molded made on CNC device so that that is that's quite cool things I don't like so much well there's two things that that kind of stood out to me the first is that um, orange and blue is an interesting color combination I'm not sure if I would have picked that orange and black I would see that would be very Delta-esque though but that I would see a little bit more easily than orange and blue but I gave it to someone in the local pen meet and he said oh I love it I think the orange and blue is fantastic so I don't want to harp on that too much maybe that's just my personal preference the second thing I, I would like to point out is that there is an interesting thing going on with the the flushness of these parts there is a, a slight like it's not completely flush it's not that one part sticks out it's almost a shape like this so it, it like there's like a tiny groove in between these parts and you also kind of see that even better actually in the section it's almost like it's rounded off a little bit so you have a rounded off part a groove and another rounded off part um, which I don't know it, it, it I'm not saying that it's bad it's just that I noticed it and it, it, it just looked a little a little odd to me personally uh, the final thing that I would I would say is that the um, 
uh, the, the, the are the, don't perform in the same way. The, uh, the, the, the fine gave a very different experience, a bit scratchier, or at least more feedbacky, I should say, than the medium. Now, you would expect that a, a fine nib might have some more feedback, simply because there's less material, tipping material, to polish. But even so, having said that, uh, it's quite a big difference. The fine is really fine, and the medium is relatively very broad compared to that fine. So, uh, an, an interesting weird consistency or inconsistency in, in that. Having said that, I think they're two nice pens and I think that you, you get a, a pretty nice pen for what you, what you pay. And again, not cheap, but relatively speaking, I think they're not terrible. And there you have it. So, the Multani pens, I hope that was useful. I will, uh, I, I want to thank Eddie for sending me the pens or lending me the pens to review. I, I hope this was useful and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye.